Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this fabulous Friday here in Connecticut. Life's good, guys. Life's good. For the first time, I think my uh, my allergies. Ma, me, me, ma. I think we're ready to go. <laughs> anyway, you saw the thumbnail. Overblowing, baby. Overblowing, man. It is. It is uh, the root of all evil. It really is. Um, anyway. Let me honk a little bit, and we'll talk about overblowing. Late in the afternoon, I haven't played a note. Let's see what we got. Are the best anyway um overblowing guys i'm gonna say 90 percent if not more 90 percent of the topics that i use on this channel uh come from my day-to-day -day teaching and um the most i'm not gonna say the most common but what happens, guys? So often I get these talented, more mature amateurs, professionals, run after. They take a couple lessons. Man, they got it. They got it. I haven't heard from them in three, four weeks. All of a sudden, Ralph, I need a quickie. I'm off, man. I don't know what it is. Guys, I'm telling you, if somebody knows what the tongue is supposed to feel like, if somebody knows that we're not supposed to be tightening, tightening the corners, if somebody knows that position, guys, and for any reason they just can't do, seem to do it. Ralph, you know, above above a G on top of the staff, I can't keep the tongue in the right place. Ralph, you know, my I, I, whatever I do, I, I feel like I'm tight as a drum. You're overblowing. 100% of the time, you're overblowing. It's, it, it's that simple. Guys, and if you want to go next level, make do with less air. Make do with less air. Guys, overblowing will do it. All it, listen, a sniff. It knocks the walls down, guys. And it's literally a sniff. I leave, I love Mayor more than anybody. But all these histrionics, guys, and that's what they are. Histrionics is BS. It had nothing to do with anything, and um, I'm not sure if he knew it, and he was just, uh, that was just showtime. Handful of people have played with them, if you have him, if you have any thoughts on that. Um, but man, did he influence Trumpet. Did Maynard now, did he influence Trumpet. But guys, yeah. <gasps> that's all it is, a sniff. Now, can you get too low in air that you can't compress. Yes. And everybody knows what I'm talking about. Right at the end, you know, and uh, Claude Gordon did it. A handful of people did it. Keep trying to push past the point where you're running out of air. Insane. Insane. Guys, when you lose that compression, you've lost everything. Okay? And it's much easier to control and compress a sliver of air than a tornado. Much less, much easier. Guys, that is what, that's, that's what you have to be thinking about. Now, on the other end, if it's so little, as I just said, 
and you can't compress it. Stop. You, when you lose compression, you've lost everything. When you lose compression, you've lost everything. Guys, that is a title for another, for another video. All right? Now, can you overblow and be successful? You bet. <laughs> oh, God, since the beginning of time. I, you know, my two whipping boys for this are Bill Chase and um, Stan Mark. Each one of them were terrific trumpet players. Terrific trumpet players. But guys, what I'm after is this. Maybe we're after a different thing. They were after loud and high. Stan Mark, the, the most iconic lead trumpet seat in for decades. Uh, and Bill Chase, he is what he is. Okay. Did they want to play in a brass quintet? Probably not. Did they want to play third trumpet in a symphony orchestra? Probably not. Guys, the problem with it is with the way they were playing, they couldn't. They couldn't. Harry James could. Perico could. They're not overblowing. It's as simple as that, guys. As simple as that. I'm not saying, now, as I said, just got through saying, it can be done. But it's too much trouble. You beat up your lips. You don't, once you start mangling your lips, guys, all, you know, crest the baby, articulation, it's gone. It's gone. Overblowing is the root of all evil. It really is, guys. You know, I, 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 and I'm not exaggerating. Now, one thing I want to leave you with. <clears throat> At this point in my life, I very, very rarely get into overblowing. Very rare. Okay? Two reasons. First of all, I just know what it feels like. And I, I have the discipline over many, many years. Stop when it happens. Okay? Number two, and maybe even more important, guys, I'm not out there four or five nights a week killing myself in these godforsaken bands surrounded by blasters or back in the day, it was uh, speakers that were, you know, as big as a house. Nowadays, a tiny little box speaker can fill up, you know, a giant stadium. But I digress. But... I'm not playing with loud bands, okay? When you are, guys, you have to try to keep in mind, get yourself near the mic, center the tone. A centered tone is going to project much better than a blat. Much better than a blat. Okay, so even though you're surrounded by guys that are blasting, if you're centered, there's a real good chance, guys, that your tone is just flying to the back of the hole and theirs is just dissipating. All right? Very, very common. That happens in, the, in symphony all the time. Guys, if you're in the clarinet section, sometimes you, you, you know, and they're right behind you, you think they're blasting their brains out. If you're sitting in the back seat, the, the back row, guys, you want your money back. You can't hear a thing they're saying. It dissipates as it gets too wide. Guys, center the tone. Compress the air. Boom. Life's good. All right? All right. Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power, guys, and have a great weekend. I'm going to.